Hi, my name is Jeremy Trimi. I'm a 21-year-old fourth-year student at the University of Toronto. And I work at Mount Sinai during the summer in their microbiology department. This year I got to work in the processing area where I spent a considerable amount of time operating a wasp. And that enabled me to carry out our study. The study itself came about as a, an idea of Dr. Mazzulli, my supervisor. There's a Ontario Laboratory accreditation statement that requires us to uh, have an alternate supply to any laboratory equipment that's used in medicinal labs. So we needed to have an alternate supply of swabs for the WASP, which allowed us to basically compare the Copan e-swab to Puritan's transport system. In general, most swabs do look quite similar, and that was the case for both of the swabs that we studied. And you can see there, this swab on the left right here is Copan's e-swab, and the one on the right is Puritan's hydroflot swab. The only real difference aside from the lettering and the packaging is that the Copan swab has a slightly tinted yellow cap, as well as the swab itself, if you can tell right there, is slightly more yellow than Puritan's, which is pretty much completely white. The WASP accepted and rejected both the Puritan Hydro Swab as well as the Copan e Swab at an equal rate. So, you know, we had sporadic rejections, but they weren't due to the physical structure of either tube, it was more the sensing of the labels on the tube, so there was no effect as a result of either company's product, it was more the labeling that was the issue. The results were, you can see they were comparable, like, as we show there, each bug is listed, we tested them for growth at zero hours, two hours, 24 hours, and 48 hours, just like the document wants us to. We added two hours just so if we want to do an additional follow-up study for it with any other system besides the WASP. And on average, Puritan had better growths than Copan. So yeah, that was one major thing we noticed. And additionally, we did a follow-up study, just a small one, where we looked at direct absorption, this is more for a release, and the absorption study we just put uh, each swab in a microtiter well that was filled with a certain amount of liquid, and all we wanted to see was how much each one would absorb. And we noticed that the Puritan Hydroflux swab pretty much absorbed all of the liquid, while as the Copan E swab almost always left a small amount behind.